I'm Narita and welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my Blue Apron adventure. Um, we received a Blue Apron box which you should have already seen the unboxing of that. I was very impressed with the way it was packaged and all of that. You can see that in that video. I'll link that below and you can go take a look at it. But tonight uh, the Blue Apron box contains enough for three separate meals for two people. Well, we're a family of four, so our Blue Apron adventure is mom's going to cook all three of them and we're all going to eat it for dinner and we're all going to do separate videos um, of each dish so you can see them and then we're going to do taste tests of each thing while we eat our supper. So join me as we do that and I hope you enjoy. In this video, we're going to show you how we make the Blue Apron Buttermilk Fried Chicken Sliders with homemade pickles and coleslaw. And this uh, this is the card that comes in your box, and it tells you on this side, it gives you a picture of the product, the finished product, and it gives you a list of the ingredients and a picture of each one, and it all comes in your box nicely packaged. The other side gives you detailed step-by-step -step instructions on what you're supposed to do. So. In the first block, it says we're supposed to preheat the oven to 350, wash and dry the produce, slice each slider bun in half, peel and cut the carrot into matchsticks, and I'm just going to grate it on my box grater. And then you're supposed to peel and smash a clove of garlic, thinly slice the cucumber, I've done that, and the green cabbage, and I'll do that in a minute, and cut each chicken breast into thirds. Well, I kind of jumped around a little. I've already done, um, this is for making the homemade pickles, so what it said to do was put half the vinegar on the sliced cucumbers, so I slice these on my mandolin, and I slice them on a three on my mandolin, and then it tells you that you're supposed to bring a, um, a half a cup of water, the sugar packet that's included, and one clove of smashed garlic to a boil, and I've done that, excuse me. So I'm just going to put this to the side and let these macerate for a while. And I'm going to have to go back and give it a stir every few minutes to make sure that there's some evenness to that. So I'm going to set this aside. And then what we have to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep all of my veggies and my chicken and then we'll be right back. For the marinade and the chicken, they give you buttermilk and I would say this is probably... I would say it's approximately a quarter of a cup. I, it's not very thick buttermilk, but nonetheless. And they send you this teeny tiny, really cute bottle of Tabasco sauce, which probably ends up being about, I don't know, how much is this? An eighth of a fluid ounce. It's like a teaspoon. So what we're going to do, it, it says that you should put the Tabasco sauce as much as you like on your chicken slider before you eat it. So what I'm going to do is instead of that, down here in the south, we tend to like to put the Tabasco sauce in the buttermilk. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And of course that's a personal choice. If you don't want to do that, then don't. We're going to give this a good stir. And we're just going to set this aside for a few minutes while I go prep the veggies. And then we'll be back and we'll make our slaw and we'll bread our chicken and we'll move on. Okay, I got my cabbage and my carrot all shredded up and I have it in this nice bowl. This is my hold -a bowl Now it says you're supposed to mix that. The remaining vinegar, the mayonnaise, and these are, um, this is a quarter cup um, portion cup because I keep these on hand all the time. And you're supposed to add this slaw spice blend. So I'll put that in there. There appears to be some celery seed and other spices in there. So then all we have to do is set this aside and it's gonna, all these flavors are gonna marry and I'm gonna give it a real quick taste. It's not bad. Yes, that's pretty good. Though. Okay. So there it goes. We're going to let this sit. And then we're going to come back and bread the chicken. 
Okay, now it's time to bread the chicken. So it says to take it out, let it drip off, put it in the uh, panko, and coat it well, and then transfer it to another plate. All right, so that's that. And not very much marinade left either. I mean, that's just right. They, they do a great job with mm -hmm. their portioning. All right, I'm just putting the chicken here in my cast iron skillet. And we're going to cook it until it's brown on one side. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to cook it till it's done. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes on each side. This chicken is nice and thin. And um, when it's ready to come out, we'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, my chickens come out of the pan. We're going to go ahead and build our sliders and we're going to make our plate and we're going to check it out. So we'll be right back. And this is the buttermilk fried chicken sliders. And I have placed them on toasted buns with the homemade pickles, which are very tasty. And this homemade slaw that has this special seasoning in it. I, I feel like there's dill and celery seed in there. It's very nice. Okay, then the next thing we're going to talk about is this chicken sandwich. And we have them with these homemade pickles on here. And they're a little bit like bread and butter pickle. Um, Rick and I decided we were going to put this slaw right on our sandwich. And I like it quite a bit. In fact, yeah, I, like I think the too. shrimp one is my favorite, but this one is second. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, it's tasty. However, I wish the chicken were more flavorful. And girls, what did you think of the chicken sandwiches, Molly? Yeah, I thought it was bland. Yeah, they were really bland. You could taste the pickles more. You could taste the pickles more than the chicken. But the pickles then taste like pickles. The one thing I will say is this bread is very, very tasty. Yeah, yeah. I really like the bread. It's got a good aroma. It's mm -hmm. got a good texture. When I put it in the oven, it toasted on the outside, but it's nice and soft on the inside. So mm -hmm. that is a plus, and I like that very much. This is my review of the Blue Apron box, and I hope that you take it for what it's worth, and I hope that it was informative, and I hope you learned something. I hope you go to Blue Apron and you check them out. And um, until next time, I'll see you. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber, so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!